Hi, this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And this is a, um, a technical scale. I don't know. It's a scale that I have that measures in grams up to the thousandth. And uh, what I'd like to do is to try out this um, glow-in-the-dark pigment, the um, luminescent zinc, oxide, zinc sulfide, on the inside of some soap dough. I want to see what happens if I take some soap dough and measure it out and then add pigment to it, mix it up, and then make little pearls to go on top of my soaps. So here I have the, um, the a little mason jar thing, and I'm gonna tear it out by hitting the T button here. I'm looking for about an ounce, which is uh, about 30 grams. So I'm gonna go with 30 grams here. All right, that's pretty close. That's 30.097 grams. All right, and then, um, for those who are truly geeky out there, I'm, I'm going to tear this out again and then measure out a little bit of this so you know how much to add to your soap dough or your soap um, in order to get something that will glow. So let's tear this and zero it out. And I'm not really sure how much I need to add, but I'm gonna start with Maybe one gram. Except once I put it in, I won't. I'm using the end of a fork to grab some. Put it in. All right, that's about one gram. That was two ends of a fork. I'm going to say that's maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And I might need to add more than that. And dump this and start mixing it pushing it onto the mica which I guess technically it's not a mica but I bought it from my mica suppliers so therefore I think of it as mica Let's see if I can get it to mix in Once I get the mica picked up with the soap, I'll uh, take my hands to it and start mixing it. All right. And I guess that's not gonna take too much effort to figure out how much mica you need because I'm just gonna test this out tonight. Um, put it in and then turn the lights off and see what we got. All right, so let me mix this off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I uh, I got took this soap and got it, all the pigment mixed in. There we go. I found that if I take the soap and make it thinner, I can get the uh, the light to affect more of it. So I'm now going to take it and put it in front of my light, which I think is probably a 75 watt. That's probably one of those, um, you know light saving type bulbs. It looks normal, but it's probably some kind of light saving one. One, two, three, four, I'm flipping it around the other side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's see if we can get this to show up here. Here it is. And one more light right there. And you can see it glowing. And I'm going to fold it in half. It's the other side. There's the whole thing. So it's definitely glowing. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. And I only put it up there for 10 seconds. So if you were to let it get exposed to light for longer, um, I think that would really help. The light's on for you. All right, next stage of our, um, our test. One light, two light, one more light. Is to bring back the scale and add another gram to this ounce and see what that does. All right, I ran out of memory on my phone. I downloaded everything. And here's the soap that already has one, um, one gram of, oops, there we go. One gram of um, this pigment in it, the glow in the dark pigment. And I'm gonna add one more, hopefully. So, so I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna add it into the very middle. 
right here. I'm using the end of a fork. I think it's about an eighth of a teaspoon. I don't have those little spoons. All right, there we go. Um, I'll give you a close-up of it. There's how much I added right in here. All right, and now I'm going to mix it up. And I'm going to finish mixing this up off camera and come back when it's all mixed in. Be right back. pretty well mixed. It's a little bit warm when I work it. All right, so let me flatten this out and see if you get much more of a difference with a double the amount of pigment into the um, soap dough. All right, I'm going to put it up to the light. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's see if we can turn off this one light. All right, let's see. We gotta turn this off. Let's see. Can you see this? There it is. So this is the side I mostly had next to the light. This is where I was holding it, where my thumb was, right there. All right, let me try some more. Let's stick it back up again. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit more. Like that. And put it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm flipping it over. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And turn the light off. And it definitely is glowing. Definitely glowing. It's it's more dramatic in real life than it would be on here. Um, perhaps not as dramatic as working with it on um, when you paint it on. But you can, look at that. Where the crease is, you can really see it. That is kind of cool. I wonder if that would dry that way. But it's really kind of kind of neat. All right. Um, so I don't know whether that um, helps you or not. Uh, the rate that, that if you add two grams per ounce, um, or maybe I think it would be a quarter of a teaspoon, seems to be about how much two grams would be. Um, now I'm gonna have to figure that out, how much two grams are. All right, hang on one second. Let's turn this baby back one. And here's a little medicine cup. And I'm going to flip on some more lights and measure out how much two grams are. So you guys will know. Because not everybody has a scientific scale like this. All right. Um, I've teared out the scale. I've got my little medicine cup on there. And uh, I'm going to see how much is in two grams. As soon as I can figure out how to open this. All right. So... Got a standard standard spoon. I'm gonna take out that much. That actually to me looks like a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna start with that and see if that oh boy, that's a little bit more. That's two and a half grams. So it's a little bit less than a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put this back on my spoon so you can see about how much. I'm sure I, sorry I don't use measuring spoons around here. To me, it's a little bit below the half teaspoon mark right there. That's how much two teaspoons, um, two grams is. Um, let's set this on here. Tear it out. This probably would have worked better. Look, you can see how much it is. And I'm going to put this on here. And it's probably it's a quarter of a standard teaspoon, is what I would say. Um, though, if you're using real teaspoon measurement. So this is how much you would use per ounce. About that much. Whereas you can get by with half of it. 
Um, it still works, just not quite as bright. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do for, for now. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you, and have a great day.